all right guys welcome back to part two this is jeremy with care services and blamo tutorials we just went over pseudocode okay we read the program and what it's asking us to do we pseudocoded it we typed it up into a way we can understand to build the program now we've got to flowchart everybody loves flowcharting don't they i know you do so what we're going to do is we're just going to call this program insurance. All right. We've got that done here. And this may be a little bit too small for you guys to read. I, I'm not really sure. The screen re resolution has to be a little bit different. But uh, so if it is, I'm sorry. All right. So as we build our flowchart, we just learn, you know, from the actual uh, pseudocode of the steps we're going to take. So we've just built our main program right here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and show you the easy part and why flow charting is so simple. It's because once you learn the symbols, once you learn how to pseudocode, they go hand in hand. So once you pseudocode, flow charting is takes 2 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we start our program here with main we call it ours insurance. Here we're going to go ahead and declare our variables. So all I'm doing is copying, clicking in, I'm pasting. Simple as that. Is that not bad? There you go. Here we got a display. Copying it, putting it in, pasting it out. And you already see that I got to start moving my stuff around here. I'm move those down a little bit. So we got our display. We need to input, if I can get, go in there, we need to input the variable we're pulling from our display. We are going to call our module. Yeah, there you go. And I know some teachers might get a little anal about it and want you to have everything where it's on one line or whatever but yeah that's all uh, that's on you and on this one you don't have to do anything but we'll go ahead and do it since it's there all right so it took me longer to tell you how to freaking pseudocode than it did to actually build the flowchart but uh you know it's something that you need to learn i mean it helps you to understand right i mean it helps me to learn how to do this crap. So, I mean, by me helping you, I help myself, and everybody else gets helped. I found out today that there's actually more people actually paying attention to this than I thought. So, yeah, that works out for me, works out for them. Everybody's happy in the end. Uh, I'm, I'm a little anal, guys. I like to have all my stuff centered. I apologize for that. So you watch me sit here and fiddle fart around a little bit. So I apologize, but uh, so here we've got our main program built. I'm going to slide this over a little bit so we can start building here. Now we've got to build this module right here, module min. So, and you can pass in the stuff here because you, you have to. Some teachers will tell you to do that call out. It doesn't matter, guys. You do whatever the heck you want to do, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and start doing this as I do it. So here we've got the start of our module. Again, just copying and pasting. So I need to get all this. I don't know why this got screwed up, so I apologize, guys, but I've got to fix it. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta. All right, let's get that going out there. All right, so we've got that going. Next, we're going to declare some variables. So we're going to go ahead and stretch this out a little bit because I know it's going to need it. Now on this one, a lot of people will change things a little bit. They might go ahead and set this. Uh, later on they'll declare the variable here and then they'll set it down here. But technically, anytime you have a variable, you're going to have to set it to something. You can't just throw a variable into a program and expect it to work. It's going to throw up an error, or it could throw up an error. Uh, 
you always want to set your variable. So here we're going to declare real. I need to go ahead and get a, num uh, a type in there. We're going to declare real min insurance. All right. I got to set it to something. So instead of setting it to zero, then going down here and calculating it, I'm going ahead and just putting the calculation in there. If, uh, like here, we're setting uh, cost, technically we would set cost to zero because cost is set to zero until they enter in the actual input. So for those who are actually inside of a programming class as well as taking an intro to programming logic in the college setting, you've probably already heard this. You've seen it. You know it. The thing with flowcharting is if you continue to build it as you're going to write it out, all you got to do is copy and paste a lot of the stuff that you're doing over, just like I'm doing, and you're, you're good to go. So just figured I'd throw that tidbit out there. All right, next, we're going to display yet again. We've got this display here. Usually I'm hitting my uh, keyboard shortcuts. I'll do that a lot. Control X cuts it, Control C copies, and Control V, as in Victor, paste it. So if y'all don't know about shortcuts, do that. If not, you can right click it, copy. You can, I don't know how you do it in this one. Yeah, usually there's an edit button somewhere up there. So, but I'm not going through that kind of trouble. So get that, click in, paste it in. I don't know why that's not, not enough that's bothering me. All right, so I display, then I'm returning. I like to use RTC, just so you know. So I'll use RTC. And there we go. I bet just because I'm copying and pasting from this. That's what it is. But anyway, back to the program. Now we're done. We just built this. We've got our main program here. We've got our module here. Next, you know, you got to draw your lines. Yeah. If you don't draw your lines, then you're going to get marked off. It's going to be wrong. And you're going to get deducted points. And nobody wants that. So we'll go ahead and just go through the BS part here. That way you can see it. And as you can see, my stuff's not aligned by this one right here. That's all right. Because guess who's going to fix it? That's me. All right, so we're going to align these. I want to space them evenly apart so it looks better. And most of the time, I'll drop this down a little bit lower into the side. All right, so here we go. We have now took our problem from the problem set, our program from the problem set here. And it told us what to do. We did that by declaring our variables here. We inputted here on how much it would cost to rebuild a home or business. We stored that number into the input cost. Again, I'm sorry. We uh, put that inside the input cost. We come over here and we call it a module med insurance, uh, men insurance. Here we have the module itself. We're, it's a void. We're not returning anything back. We're just ending the program. So we have a module min insurance. We're bringing into the parameters, passing in the value of constant real rate and real cost. So we have to do that guys so we can use them inside the function. So here we've declared real min insurance variable equal to the constant rate 0.80 times the cost of whatever they enter in. And then we displayed your minimum insurance to cover your costs would be dollar man insurance. And we return back to the program and we end. So that is two very quick, very fast, very long-winded <laughs> descriptions on how to do this. If you have a problem and if you have a question or if I ramble too much and lost you, just let me know. Come on over to facebook.com slash care services nc, press the like button and send me a message, post it on the wall, whatever it is you want. You know, if you want me to do a photography tutorial or a Photoshop tutorial or HTML tutorial, whatever the case is, I mean, 
let me know. Let's start working it out. I'm going to continue building though on the uh, intro to programming and logic just to help people that I know need it because they might not have a teacher that explains things in a realistic way or you may have someone in your class that rambles off over the top stuff that confuses the crap out of you and you know that's what I'm here for I'm here to help and to help you succeed in your college debut but uh yeah just hit us up let's know I'll stop rambling I'll move on comment rate subscribe you know the drill peace out y'all